Hey, how you doing? Christopher Mosley here with Real As It Gets Incorporated. And sorry I haven't been posting as frequent as possible because usually I would be posting every week, but you know, life comes at you fast. I had other priorities. Today, I'm here to give you some quick tips on how to take care of your DSLR. Now, these cameras are made to perform under some of the most extreme conditions. Canon DSLRs are built heavy duty but you still need to do your best to take care of them. And there are some simple techniques and simple things you can do to make your DSLR last as long as possible. So stay tuned. They don't know. Keep your hands clean when handling your camera. Now, one of the first things you can do and most simplest thing you can do to make your camera last as long as possible is to just make sure you wash your hands before you pick your camera up. Now, we're out in the field. I understand most of the time you don't have access to necessarily a sink or somewhere to physically just put your hands in some water and wash them. But what I did was I just took a simple Bath & Body Works 99 cent hand sanitizer the little package, you know, that you get by the register. And I just clamped it onto my camera bag. So when I get ready to pick my DSLR up, I can just put that on my hands to make sure my hands are clean. That's one of the most simple things you can do to just keep your camera clean and make sure it's functioning to the best of its ability because you're changing lenses, you're helping people to pose. You might have to get down on the ground. I mean, you never know what you may pick up on your hands out in the field trying to work because I know most of my work is either at weddings or out in the world, out out in the um, the field. So I don't have access to actually wash my hands. I'm changing lenses. A piece, small piece of lint can get on your lens or your camera sensor and mess up a whole shot. You lose the shot because of a simple thing like not washing your hands. So that's one of the most simplest things you can do to just make sure your camera's performing to the best of its ability and keep dust out of your camera. Wash your hands, keep you some hand sanitizer with you and keep your hands clean. Your hands are constantly on your camera, constantly on your lenses. You don't need dust or lint on, these, on this equipment. So number one, make sure you use hand sanitizer and wash your hands. Number two, and that's to make sure you leave your camera lens off of your camera the least amount of time as possible. Now, inside this camera, you have a mirror, and then behind that mirror, you have a sensor. If there was some lint or dust to get on this mirror, um, and more importantly, the sensor, that would basically mess up every shot you take at that event or whatever you are using your camera for that day. So. For number two, when you're changing lenses or you're out in the field moving around having to switch lenses and switch camera bodies, if it's gonna be off for a long amount of time, you wanna put your lens cap on here if you know it's gonna be off for longer than five seconds. Um, if it's not, you wanna make sure you keep that sensor pointed towards the ground when it's open at all times to keep things from floating inside of it. And if it's gonna be off for a long amount of time, just put the, just put the cap back on it because you don't want to risk getting dust on it. And um, if dust does get on it, you might want to keep you a microfiber towel, one of those small towels to just wipe it off. Nothing hard, not like a dish rag, but something that's very soft, like you clean your phone with and just wipe your lens off. You can pretty much see if there's fingerprints on your lens, but the sensor, you can't actually see the sensor unless you do a mirror lock up and lift the mirror up so you can see it, but just keep that mirror clean. Keep lenses on there at all times if possible. If you need to change lenses, like I said, keep it pointed towards the ground when the lens is not on there and put the lens back on there as soon as possible. You don't want dust to get back in it. That's something simple that can mess your camera up or cause you to have to send it back to Canon to get a, get a sensor cleaning. Who knows how much it is to get your sensor clean? It could be anywhere from $45 to $200. I mean, you can sit here and watch YouTube videos about how to clean your sensor, but I know I have DSLRs that are from $1,500 to $2,000 or $3,000. I'm not risking it. I'm not going to risk trying to clean a sensor myself. I'm going to send it back to the people that manufactured it so they can clean it the right way. So for my second tip, just make sure you make sure you keep your lens on there. And if your lens is going to be off for a long amount of time, put the lens cap back on it. You don't want dust on your sensor. And number three 
is just something simple that all photographers should be doing. And that's just to be organized. Usually I bring someone with me, shout out to Bruce, the best camera assistant in the world, also Carson. You wanna make sure you bring someone with you to keep you organized because I'm not always around to be like, hey, give me this lens, give me this lens, uh, or, or to keep up with all that. So when I need to switch lenses or I need to throw something down and pick something else up, I need to be organized with it so when I need that again, I can find it. Or I'm not just leaving my stuff laying around, going to another room. Cause I've been in an event before where a photographer was just too comfortable. This is a $3,000 camera, $1,500 camera. Some people know that. Some people will pick your stuff up. People still. This is not a goody two shoes world like it used to be 20 years ago. You can't leave your equipment around. Be organized. If you want to take care of your gear, keeping your gear is part of taking care of it. Taking care of it is part of keeping it. So in other words, what I'm saying is keep up with your stuff, watch your stuff. I keep somebody with me, even if it's not a second shooter, even if it's somebody that's just with me strictly to keep their eyes on my bag. Like sometimes I bring somebody with me and say, just watch my stuff, I'll pay you. It's simple as that because you really don't have time for that. You wanna be organized. You wanna keep up with your lenses. If you're not using it, putting it back in the bag because like I said, you don't want dust on your stuff. So that's my third point. Just something simple, but keep up with your stuff. I mean, some of this stuff may seem like common sense, but you'd be surprised when I go to just do the videography or I'm just doing the photographer and I'm watching the habits of the other people that's out here just throwing their cameras around or tossing it back in the bag or not paying attention to their stuff. Come on, people, you're a photographer. You need to be meticulous. You need to be on point. You need to be watching your items. You need to be on it. You know what I'm saying? You want to be of the utmost quality with everything you do. You want to be organized. So that's my third point. Just be organized. Just pay attention to your surroundings and keep up with your stuff, man. If you're not using it, put it back in the bag. I mean, be mindful of stuff like this. You got kids running around at a wedding that may knock your tripod down. I never leave my stuff unattended. That's the point. Just to recap on everything we touched on, number one is just to make sure you wash your hands every time you handle your DSLR. And if you don't have access to a, a, a sink or a faucet or anywhere where you can wash your hands, get you a small thing of hand sanitizer and just clip it to your bag so you can keep your hands clean before you handle your DSLR. You'd be amazed at how clean your camera will stay if you just wash your hands before you handle it. Number two, make sure you leave lenses and caps off of your camera the least amount of time as possible. If you're gonna have a lens off of it while you're changing it, Keep it pointed towards the ground so lint or dust can't get into it. And number three, make sure you keep your eyes on your stuff and stay organized. That's going to be it for me this time. My name is Christopher Mosley with Realist Gets Incorporated. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. My subscribers are growing fast, but I need you guys to subscribe. I'm getting the views, but I need you people to subscribe to my channel so you can catch the future content. I'll be doing a giveaway soon on a Canon T5i and a Canon T6i. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. The only way to enter is just subscribe. And then I'll be going through my subscribers, seeing who's commenting, see who's liking, see who's sharing. And then you'll get a free camera. Two lucky subscribers will get a free camera. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm out. They don't know. They don't know a nigga pain. They don't know. It's a goddamn shine. It's a goddamn shine. They don't know a nigga store, they don't know a nigga store.